when I remember my faith and articulate my faith, I have to do so in the context of how I experience God moving through the stories of my own ancestors. And so my faith testimony begins with remembering my great-grandfather on my father's side, Alejo Familiaran, was a carpenter. He was a furniture maker. And he was commissioned by the American Baptist missionaries to build the first Baptist church in his town. But sometime midway into the project, he was stricken with glaucoma. And at that time, glaucoma had no cure. And so my great-grandfather became blind before the church was finished. But with the help of his apprentices and by the sheer feel of his hands, he was able to finish the church. And I think also especially of my grandfather on my mother's side. He was orphaned at a very young age and he was taken under the wings of American Baptist missionaries who founded the very first school for vocational boys in Iloilo City, which later on now, as we, some of us know, is Central Philippine University. And so my grandfather was essentially raised by American Baptist missionaries. He later on became one of the first graduates of the divinity school that had evolved from that school. When war broke out, 11 of our American Baptist missionaries decided not to surrender, but instead to flee to the foothills to where my grandfather uh, had just founded a church. They knew he was there and he was pastoring there. When they arrived there, uh, they asked my grandfather to help them find a very secure hiding place. And they did find a hiding place beneath uh, a lush ravine, a beautiful place, and they called it Hope Vale. After almost two years of not being discovered, uh, one day the location of the, sem of the uh, missionaries uh, was discovered by the Japanese Imperial Army. They were arrested and not too long after that were executed. The powerful story with that is, is many. But the most compelling to me in my own faith was the witness of those missionaries to my grandfather. When that moment came that they were about to be executed, Dr. James Covell, who spoke fluent Japanese, begged the commander of the platoon uh, to spare them, that they were not part of the war, they were missionaries. And uh, the, the, the Japanese commander was so impressed with their uh, knowledge of the language and of their work and service with uh, the Japanese children. And he was, he was uh, moved to indeed spare them, but higher command uh, instructed him to continue with the execution. And so Dr. James Covell asked for a time to pray, and he was given all the time that they needed. And the story goes that for about an hour after an hour, James Covell and the other American Baptist missionaries came back holding hands and singing a hymn and finally telling the commander of the platoon, we are ready. And so it is these memories, these, these uh, stories that are weaved into my own Baptist faith, which I received from American Baptist missionaries. When somebody asks me why I am an American Baptist, it's not because that I've agreed to the 10 reasons why we are American Baptists, but I have embraced our particular Baptist faith because of the testimony and, and the witness of the many saints uh, that have gone before us.